Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the Get Out Collapsible Wagon to help you haul your stuff or take your kids with you as you go to the beach, the park, or wherever you may be. Now, I picked this up almost a year ago now because we had so much stuff with a second kid on the way. You go to the beach and you got all the inflatables and the cooler and all kinds of stuff. Having a portable wagon like this to throw all your stuff in was really nice. There's a few things that made us pick this particular model over some of the others on the market. We'll be breaking that all down here in this video. Also, you'll be able to see this on a uh, recording I made off my phone in my kid's playroom. This is one of the big open areas I have. Apologize about the mess there. Um, so ignore that, but I hope that the video with this helps out a lot. Now, if you are new here, a few things. If you want to find this on Amazon, I don't like to talk about pricing on this other than to say this is a competitive mid-range priced wagon on the market right now with a lot of features. But you can find it on Amazon in the first pinned post and the first uh, description and the first pinned comment, excuse me, there. The reason I don't go into a lot of pricing because pricing changes often, often before I even post a video, it can change its price. Now, a few things here. If you wanna help out this channel, do us a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. And hopefully that helps them recommend this to other people. All right, let's dive into it. Now, we got this wagon in blue. It's also available in red. A few of the big things that help this wagon stand out is an adjustable handle um, and the ability to have a fold-out tray. One of the reasons we really got it, we love the fact that as we take this to the beach or the park, wherever, as the kids play in the sand, mom and dad get under the umbrella and sit in our lounge chairs, we can park this um, wagon between us and there's a fold up tray on it with two cup holders to hold our bottles of water or wherever we're drinking there. It does lock in place and fold down very easily. It's very nice. It collapsing, it's very easy. If you've ever done a pack and play very similar, there's a little strap in the middle. You pull that strap and it folds it down really tight into a small compact space. A few things with this, the wheels are very thick and durable, um, which makes going through sand and uh, sand or, or dirt a lot easier than some of the thinner wheels we've seen on other wagons. They aren't the nicest wheels. There are definitely wagons with higher class wheels and higher pricing. One little note is as you assemble this, if you tighten the wheels on too tight, they can't spin freely. So you gotta have a, you know, once you tighten it to the point where it's securely locked in, you can stop there. Otherwise you're gonna tighten the bars to the point where they impinge on the wheels, preventing them from rolling properly. Overall though, I would say the quality of this is very good. Now this is meant primarily to be a hauler for stuff. Now kids can sit in there, they show pictures of it in their marketing materials. Um, but I would say it's not as comfortable of a seat as I see with other um, stroller or other wagons out there especially the a lot more expensive wagons are primarily basically strollers with a ton of storage. This really is, you throw it in your trunk, you throw it in the back of your SUV, you go to the beach, you throw all the kids stuff in there and you walk up to wherever you're gonna set up for your time at the beach. Keep that in mind, that's kind of the primary focus of a device like this. Overall though, I'm very pleased with it. It's a very good quality um, for the price I'm paying. I have no complaints in our usage of it for almost the last year. With several trips, it's very easy, very quick um, to pop in and out of your car. It has a nice cover there that you can snap on to keep it kind of compressed down so it doesn't try to open up as you drive around. Uh, and overall, it holds a lot of stuff and it did a good job with us pulling it through the uh, sand of Lake Michigan here up in Michigan when we would go to the beach. A few things with it. Now, it is again, not very well padded for kids to sit in there. Don't know, uh, how well it's made for that, it's definitely not a stroller. I do wanna emphasize on that, that this is, seems to be a lot more about hauling stuff for the kids, for you, wherever you go. The flip up tray really stood this out for us. We love parking this with the two of us and having a little table at the beach for us to put our drinks on without them getting all sandy. If you ever had a can of Coke in the beach, you put it on the sand, you know how we pick it up, there's sand all over it. It's kinda nice to do that without having to worry about it. It's also a nice place to put your phone down um, next to you, for example, without having to put your phone in the sand. Pretty nice step, um, step feature there. And when we bought it with sub 100, still at the time of this recording, it's a sub 100 hour wagon. Pretty nice quality there for the price, I believe. Again, there are far more expensive wagons like this on the market, which are basically oversized strollers. So you've got to decide which is what you want. Are you really looking at this to be a stroller or are you looking at this to be more of a, hey, I want the ability to uh, go to the beach, 
put all of our stuff, our, our small cooler, lunch bat, uh, pail, inflatables, whatever, into a stroller and not have to carry them. As a dad, it can get tough once you start having more than one kid to carry everything you want out there. So keep that in mind. But I think it's a very good quality stroller for, or a wagon, I should say, for what it does. If you want to find it on Amazon, check out the first pinned comment down below in the show description also. If you want to help us grow this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back with another video real soon.